Hello, Springton Lake families. Happy Friday. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope that you've had a great week. It has been a busy and exciting week here at Springton Lake. We've had a lot going on. The energy has been incredible, and it's just been a fun time to be around the lake. Uh, this week was Red Ribbon Week. Uh, this was our week to focus on being drug-free, making positive and healthy choices. Uh, our kids uh, participated in activities all week long. We had spirit days each day to focus on that positive messaging. Uh, it was a great week. On Thursday, we had our school-wide pink out. Uh, the place was pink everywhere, lots of enthusiasm as we showed our support for breast cancer awareness. And today was really a day like none other. Uh, we started off the day with our Phillies pep rally this morning. Hopefully you saw us on Fox 29. I'll, I'll try to share some clips. Uh, it was super exciting. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and really the first all school pep rally that we have had since COVID. So it was a great morning. Uh, we're decorating pumpkins today as well. And we've got our dance tonight. It is just such a fun day at Springton Lake. I hope that your kids have had a great week and I hope they come home and they share something about today or about this week with you. Now, speaking of the dance for tonight, there's some important information in this newsletter today about the pickup for the dance. You're gonna want to take a look at that if your child is attending tonight's dance. Most important things, dance is over at nine o'clock. We ask that you please be here either at nine o'clock or even a little bit before nine o'clock. My best advice is to park and then get out of your car, come over by the cafeteria and meet your child. Trust me when I say it will allow for a smooth transition and it's gonna be the easiest way for you to find your child after the dance. Now, Monday is Halloween. We are permitting kids to wear costumes to school if they would like. Certainly the costumes need to be school appropriate and they need to be something that they're able to participate in all facets of their school day, even gym if they have phys ed that day. We've reviewed all this information with the kids. Uh, they're not able to wear something that covers their entire face. Certainly no props that are weapons or something that would not be uh, appropriate for school. And we are also requesting no inflatables. Student Council is going to be awarding prizes for creative costumes. Uh, and so it should be a lot of fun. So please take a few minutes, review the information in this week's newsletter. There's lots of important information. I talk about parent-teacher conferences that are coming up later this uh, later in November. We've got the book fair, the Thanksgiving luncheon for our sixth grade students and families. There's information about parent visitation day during American Education Week, and even signups for our all school mu musical Shrek the Musical Junior uh, a lot of kids are going to want to be involved in that. So lots of information. Thanks so much, as always, for your support and for taking a few minutes to read our newsletter. I hope that you have an awesome weekend and go Phillies.